Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, did you have something that you wanted to say real quick? Oh, I have a lot of things I want to say. So, as soon as I leave the fucking house, there's been people that have said shit. I'm finding out things that people said behind my back. And I just want to say that I hope you guys keep this energy at the reunion because I'm not coming talking. I'm coming in swinging. So, I hope you guys are doing the same thing. And, and actually, that's all I have to say. And you already know, that's my book. So, double the trouble. Where? Say it, say it, Boots. We're signing out. We're signing out, double trouble, and you'll see us both at the reunion together, ready to fight, and that's that. Period. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Platty with a fatty, and a fatty is for the ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should be prosecuted. I am back. Yes, at the Bad Boys Club motherfucking reunion, and we finna get down to the bottom of it. I have these four beautiful men right here, and I'm finna get down to the bottom of it. Um, first off, I want to start with Darian first. Now, Darian, um, I feel like for um, the beginning of the season, I feel like he immediately came in, and he was the eye candy of the house. Agree or disagree? agree <laughs> okay so um i mean like okay so you were there the first episode so the first episode i feel like you immediately came in and you snatched what was yours which was that that fine ass nigga that was we're gonna talk about him in a minute um so i mean i'm gonna jump a few episodes above what made you like how did you what you were crying like you knew this man for years like what like what happened like why were you so upset like you just met him well, you know, when you're in the, well, like us being in the house for the amount of days we were in there before D Darius left, it was more so like, bonds, cr bonds formed a lot more quickly than I thought because of the reason that we were in there 24-7 together, plus drinks were involved and everything like that. So at the end of the day, like I am just a passionate, affectionate person. I'm a cancer. That's just how I yes. am. That's my nature. July 11th. July 12th. That's Every my day. nature. Like Every I'm just day. a passionate Kansas person season. as I am. Like. And I actually, I, I care about him. So it was like, you know, I was sad when he was leaving. It wasn't about anything romantic that was going on. I was genuinely sad that he was leaving. Mm -hmm. And that's just like, and then even when I left, I was crying to everybody when I left. Cause I'm just, that's just how I am. I'm just, a, I'm an emotional person. I wear my heart on my sleeve. That's just me. So mm -hmm. that's okay. what it was. Okay, period. So I'm gonna call you the fighter to house justice. Cause justice was baby. Was I though? No, you, I, I'm gonna say like, you wasn't scared to fight. Okay. Okay, so um, at first I thought you had braces because I know the first fight your lip was bleeding and then the second fight your lip was bleeding. I'm like, okay bitch, at this point, bitch, her mouth gonna keep bleeding. So how did you feel knowing that your lip was bleeding on the fight? Did you feel like you lost because I did see you run back up on him? Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you had to get your, your lick back? Um, 
<laughs> I mean, to be honest, like, like you, like, well, like I said, I even let everybody know in the house, like, I'm not a fighter. I'm just the type of person where I'm just not afraid to like defend myself. Right. Um, plus, I feel like I have the biggest lips in the house, <laughs> so I feel like even with that, you know, if it was like to take a hit, I mean, I was gonna take it, and of course, you know, the blood or you know, because busting my lip or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but you know, I was the type of person where it's like I'm not about to be pressed or like drag a fucking issue, especially an issue that was like not needed to be dragged mm -hmm. at all. Um, but yeah, like I didn't really care. It's like I didn't really. I mean, some people would think like, oh, you, you should care mm -hmm. because oh my god, you just got your lip busting on camera. But no, bitch, I really did it. Yeah, because bitch, if I get my ass beat on camera, bitch, I'm gonna keep fighting. And I got one more question before I go to y'all. Mm -hmm. So my next question is, okay, so boom, I seen that you wanted to switch rooms before the other roommate came to the house, mm -hmm. right? And I noticed that you wanted to go into the room with her nigga at the time. That was your nigga at the time. So boom. So did you feel a way? Did you want to go in that room because you wanted to fuck him? Because I know later on in the season you did show your love for him mm -hmm. and. Like, why did you want to go in that room? No, so the situation at hand was Bonnie and Dee literally were going at each other like heavy in the house. So just to like keep the calm and like the peace in the house, that's why we switched rooms. Okay. Literally. But I definitely feel like you wanted some of that dick because I want some of that. No, I did No shade. Not. He looks T. Like, be no, real. D, no, if D, you wanted some of that dick, no, you can D. say that. No, D go get look, it, friend. No, D looks good. Go get it, friend. Go get it. No, D looks good, but no, I did not want to be with D. Okay, so let me get into you real quick. Um, you. You came in the house. I feel like you were trying to. You were trying to. You were Jacob. You were trying no, to. Alex. 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 I was like, huh? Okay. So boom. So you came into the house, right? And you immediately. I felt like you were standing, standing to yourself. And I honestly feel like y'all fucking because y'all slept in the same bed every night. Could y'all answer the question? Y'all fucking? We were actually together. Oh, Wait. Uh -huh. Y'all together. together now? We've always been together. So do y'all do threesomes? No. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me get back on track. Okay. My bad. Okay, so you got into a fight with him. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like she was gonna try to fight you again? Because you did kind of get her. You did get her. I'm gonna be real. You did. Uh, you, laying down, you did get her. I was expecting it, mm -hmm. but I mean, it didn't happen. But I like the fact that you you told people like, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Just leave me alone. And then you actually got into the fight. But I feel like you shook the house up. Like without mm -hmm. you being there, a lot of shit wouldn't happen. So the room shaker, give yourself a round of applause. No, for real. Yeah, you did it. You no, did for that. real. For real. Okay, so with you, with you. So I feel like in the season, I feel like you you sense out fake shit. I can see it. You see fake shit. But I also feel like y'all was getting into it too because you felt like it was some fake shit going on. Do you feel like at the reunion today you being somebody else for trying you in the house? I don't feel like nobody ever tried me in the house, but if someone wanna try me today, then it's up. So after watching the confessionals, do you feel like a bitch need their ass beat today? Mm. Keep it a bean. Who need their ass beat? I don't feel like nobody needs to ask. I just feel like people might need to be checked on some shit. I need you to check these hoes today, like period. And I, so, do you feel like you showcased what you like, or did you feel like you worked on the stuff that you were supposed to work on, being here in the house at the time? I feel like I did. Even with the life coach when he came in, um, they didn't. I didn't say it on camera, but like before the life coach that came, I was kind of like, I don't need nobody telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. Like I, don't, I feel you. Like, I don't do therapy, so. But when he came, it kind of opened my eyes to like how other people see shit. So then mm -hmm. I just kind of like, okay. So yeah, I opened in that aspect and on top of like growing to know people like Justice and Darian, they're my close friends now. Mm -hmm. Like, cause my circle is very small and that's who I kick it with mm -hmm. and I've been on for years. So to let even just them two in and mm -hmm. be like, oh. It's different for you because you're not really used to being around so many people. Yeah. So yeah. I like the fact that you challenged that, especially yeah. with the show. So sure. appreciate that's teams across the board. All right, y'all, this is Platty with a fatty and the fatty is for the ass. Pay mother table one E and we'll be right back, bitch. Y'all, it's Platty with a fatty, and the fatty is for the what? The ass. And I am back with three more men, and we're finna talk about it. I'm about to get straight into this bitch mug right now because I wanna know why the fuck you came into the house the first night, drunk in a pool, jumped straight in that bitch, and like, yeah, like, do you feel like you should have just said, hey, how you doing? I'm Diego, no. nice to meet y'all. No. So, why? Because I was there to turn up. Okay. That's who I am. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna 
fake something I'm not. So I'm like, I'm gonna go turn up. Y'all see what what I am. Mm -hmm. Y'all like me or don't. Mm -hmm. I, like that. That I like that you're a fun person. I'm fun. But do you feel like you can come off strong, a little too hard yes. sometimes? My personality like is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like my personality is like way up there. So, so when you not people not a lot of people like match with me because like you're too wild, you're too crazy, calm down, but I'm like mm. Mm -hmm. So when you got sent home, oh, sad. how did you feel about that? What oh, was sad. going through your head? Can you give me a word? Because that was groundbreaking. So I told him, I was like, I told, I talked to production. I was like, can I please stay? I, I, I told him, I was like, I will literally calm down. They're like, Diego, you've done too much. You got naked. You fought. You're starting to show with everybody. They're like, you got to go home. I was like, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm here to change. Are you fighting today? I mean, if anybody steps to me, I will fight. Well, if you felt like you was going to be fighting today, why the fuck you got that in your hand? Um... <laughs> Cause it's Diego. That's, that's Cause I'm Diego. No, no, you need to stop drinking, Diego. That's your no, problem. No, no, what? Diego, Diego, you turn up too. I, I do turn up. Yeah. I smell it on you. Let me talk to this fine nigga right here, Maj. Hey, Maj, how you doing? How you doing? Um, I definitely want to go ahead and say you were a replacement. <laughs> yeah. You came in and immediately got in a relationship. Let's talk about it. What? A relationship? That's what I'd say we was dating on some Young Miami Diddy shit. No, I wouldn't say Young Miami Diddy shit because first off, her, her, Diddy, was dating. her nigga just left the house. Like, he just left. Who? The other one. I don't know nothing about that. I just got there. So would you feel like... Uh, this is a lot for me. So, are you talking to somebody right now? Yeah. Who? Her? No. So, how did your nigga feel about you kissing on that bitch on TV, but then you hear? Uh, it's not my nigga. I'm mm. dating. Okay, you dating. dating. So, is that an excuse? To, okay, okay, I'm away because it's not a dating show. Dating. Okay, so boom, let me get straight. I'm back. just getting to know people, you know. Okay. Like, ain't no sex involved. Ain't it no might have looked like we was doing stuff, but we so y'all didn't fuck in the house. We was hunting in the house. What's hunting? Could you explain that to the people like that don't dry know? Dry humping. Dry humping. Yeah. You can't like tell me y'all dry humping. Showing what we would do. We took it all the way to Canada before we did something <laughs> for real. So you fucked her for real though. In Canada. In Canada. Was yeah. it groundbreaking? Was it monumental? Was it astronomical? Was it fair? Was it tea? What stays in Canada? What happens in Canada stays in Canada. Maybe invite me next time. <laughs> okay. So boom, let me get to you real quick. So first off, I definitely want to say you are the grandma Dorothy of the group. And let me explain that to you. I feel like you were way more mature than everybody in the house. I feel like your mature level was up here. And a lot of people were just, you know, like still maturing. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like on this platform, for you to come out and tell the people your your status and be open about it, what made you do that? I'm um, when we do that. I just want, God. <laughs> uh, I just want you know spread awareness because a lot of people are not aware, are educated on HIV. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I just want to reach out to other people that may be living that fast life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And maybe promote to them to slow down and get tested and get on prep and things of that okay, nature. Okay, so and I and I and I appreciate that. Yeah. I feel like you telling the people that at that moment, and then literally the next episode, you was drunk as hell trying to kiss on people. Come on, mm -hmm. people. how do you feel like? That? I feel like that was like, bitch, you should at least like. I don't know. I feel like you should. I, I, how do you feel like that happened? Because people were nitpicking at you, trying to fight you, trying to get you out the house. How did you feel about that? Do you feel like you should have kept that to yourself, to people that cared about you, or do you feel like you used the platform to tell and bring awareness? I feel like I used the platform to tell and bring awareness. But you know, you know, what I'm saying I did kind of feel like I overshared at that point because the way people started treating me afterwards. Mm -hmm. But that whole drunk night stuff, that was I feel like that was a setup. And you know, as you can see, I was in my bed sleeping, and mm -hmm. they came and woke me up. Mm -hmm. So who just does that? Who just waits until person not sleeping? Are you slapping anybody today? I mean, if I have to, it's not really okay. you know, a requirement. Okay. But I am going to tell how I feel. Are you slapping somebody today? The fight Kelton with his words, with your words, or fight Maj? That's how it's happening. Are you fighting today? I hope not. I shall look good. Okay. But if I have to, I will. I don't give a fuck. Okay, that's the thing I'll say. So you better be ready. All right. All right. All right. All right, we're done with these. We we are yeah, done. Hold on, hold on, because we didn't. I didn't just come in and just was in a relationship. This was my roommate. Yeah, like, but I, I didn't, picked the room with him. You we was like, yeah. Y'all yeah, did pick a room with him, but I really feel like you didn't want the room with him. I feel like you wanted a different room. You just took that room because it was available. No, I what? Feel like <laughs> no, I did want the room with him, but I just. Okay, I just wanted to step on a couple toes to see what was going, what was tea. So who so, else in the house you fucked? Nobody. Okay. You lucky you got a nigga because you'll be mine. <laughs> okay, y'all. Like I said, this is Platty with a fatty and a fatty is for the ass. I should be sued for how fat this ass is. Hey. Yeah. But um, thank y'all so much. I'm going to bring up some more people. All right. It was a nice time. All right. Nice talking to you. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. You, you give me a hug. 
Yeah, Chelten, March. Yeah. I love you. Sorry. DM me, I, I DM you. Okay. I think I heard some of the boys in the... Yeah, they were fighting already. I heard! Oh my god, I thought I was tripping. Do you hear? Did you hear what happened? Or no, what? we were pulling up like right when it started like popping off. I heard. I thought I was tripping. I was like, no, they're definitely fighting. Ever my it put me in a different position because you know I am hosting. You know, on the show, that would have gave me straight anxiety. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shoot. Yeah. <clears throat> I get what they're going through. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're like been there, done that yeah. multiple times. Yeah. Like, yes. And it was such a good season. Like I really like it was. It. it was. Um, I just I love when there's shows that are, it's like not all fighting. Right. I'm like there's same. actual relationships built. There's same. actual stories yep. told. Like that's what I love about that's it. That's why I love it too. It reminded me so much of Bad Girls Love, literally. Um, like the experience, and I feel like that's what a lot of shows don't have anymore. Character development. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a real storyline, getting to know the guys, and I feel like. We got to know them, you know. Who do you have a fave? Um, I want to say I have a fave. I just think D is fine as fuck. D is cute. D is so cute. D is D cute. D is so cute. I don't <laughs> care. Like I've told him before, I think he's cute. But Does he? he, he no, he's he, from he, Texas. He yeah, yeah, but he don't like girls, so I'm like. Really? Mm -mm. Well, you so bad though. Like what? <laughs> Like, you know, you never know. <laughs> no, but um, he's fine. I love Vonnie though. Vonnie, I love Vonnie too. His person, I love his personality. And I've seen Vonnie out. Like I met him a few times. Like, really, he's out. sweet. He sweet seems sweet. Heart. A sweetheart. I love his little um, his Barney doll because that reminded me of you know my voodoo doll, the mm -hmm. attachment and stuff. So I really like him. He reminded me of myself, and of course Diego. I love him. People call him the Mexican Judy. And I love that he came into the house open-minded and just wanted to have fun, you know, because that was me the first night. So I get it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think that the cast was great and everybody had a personality, you know, everybody shines. Nobody really, you know, there's sometimes on shows where there's a couple who just don't, but I feel like everybody, you know, they did great. You I'm bringing him. I'm bringing him. You said what? You yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. You beat somebody yesterday? Oh, uh, oh. you scared me. I'm, I'm not planning on it. Okay. Just hopefully no one stands up when I'm talking to him. No, look, long as you don't disrespect. Okay. Oh, yeah. Long as you don't do that little, little, little eye roll. I don't want to see none of that. I think right. you have an attitude problem. But we no, I want res respect. Bro. You have a respect problem. You want motherfuckers to respect oh, you. You're gonna, you gonna, you gonna queen B. I think that comes with being a little man, bitch. Not oh, yeah, yeah, little man, 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 man. <laughs> They hate me, little man syndrome. No, I don't have a little man syndrome. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Patty with a fatty, and a fatty is for the motherfucking ass. And I got these niggas next to me, y'all. Period. Uh, we finna get straight to the bottom of it. I am messy, so I'm finna get straight to the point. Y'all sit next to each other. Y'all not fighting today? No, we're no, not. We're not. Okay. We're not fighting. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay. So I want to start with you. You came in the house, right? And you were original, but you showed up late. Mm -hmm. You came in a club. I feel like that was your vibe. You got your drink now, bitch. So what did you expect coming into this house for people? Because I seen that this season you stated multiple times that you bitches are not like me. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that? I expected exactly what happened. I just didn't expect this to happen to me. Mm -hmm. I thought me to be the bitch hate to say leader, but I thought I was gonna be like the the one cause you thought you was the girl, yeah, not the one. Yeah, in it. I didn't know I was I gonna be you. the bitch they was at, but it's okay. Okay, period. Mm -hmm. So how did you feel being in the house with these people? Like, do you feel like it was a lot for you? Do you feel like it was something that helped you as a person? Because honestly, it's character development right, in right. this house. Period. No matter what. Well, I mean, I didn't get in, I didn't get to be in the house with these two in particular, mm -hmm. sadly. But um, honestly. It was a different experience for me because I move solo dolo every day. I'm very, very independent. So you buff as shit. I'm thank scared you. a little bit. I mean, I work on myself a lot every day by myself, like I just said. So it's like being having to move with a group, um, a group of niggas at like that was like was different for me. I have like no gay friends. Mm -hmm. My best friends are like straight. So it's like it was just it was just different. But I came in on the time look. If y'all wanna have a good time, then I'm gonna have a good time with y'all. Mm -hmm. If y'all wanna do the whole rah rah shit, we could do that too. Mm -hmm. I wanted that to let that be known off rip. Like I'm a, I couldn't let nobody um, like give me up my P's and Q's or think that I was off of them 
because I don't want nobody to think that they can get over on me. So I gotta let that be known off quick. Oh yeah, so you pretty much came in letting bitches know like, yeah, it's I'm on that. Yeah, and yeah. I love that. I love then, that. But then again, I came in like that, but I also came in as a good time. I came in like, like the, fresh, ready to turn up. Yeah, I feel like if you would have came in before, they would have been trying to try you. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me get to you, nigga. Let me get to you real quick. Let me get into this. <laughs> let me get into this Atlanta nigga real quick. <laughs> so, um, mind you, um, I definitely want to say you came into the house and. What made you not allow the other person in your room? Because it seemed like you were really... Did you feel like it was somebody cuter coming in the house? Because, like, I would have gave the same thing. Like, bitch, y'all not going to come in my room. You drunk bitches. Like, I didn't understand why you didn't want him to come in your room. Because technically, he wasn't even there yet. Yeah, I just feel like a lot... What y'all saw is what y'all saw. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like I already felt the way towards him at that moment. Mm -hmm. So, technically, I didn't want to room with me anyway. Because mm -hmm. then, I, then I wanted to be them make that decision. Because mm -hmm. everybody chose their room. Mm -hmm. So, don't make decision now because you were just more so his friend mm -hmm. in the house so don't make no judgment now you're going to switch room no don't mess up that dynamic because now i want to see who my roommate is right here. yeah no shit i feel that so but i didn't take the real answer is that i didn't want him to roommate with me anyway because i we had a mm -hmm. disagreement before so why you didn't just roommate with darian you was fucking him no we was not fucking did you fuck her after no the show? we was not no, okay no, so no. boom y'all immediately got in a relationship like what how did that happen like do you feel like because y'all were both like the fine niggas of the house we wasn't in a relationship i just feel like he was throwing himself to me mm -hmm. first cause, immediately yeah because i would, she wanted to give you that ass you thought about it you wanted to fuck him though be real i mean why not he's cute okay he's cute he's cute you i'm gonna give him that thank you You're but i just felt like he didn't give me a he didn't give me a break <laughs> He didn't give me, I couldn't even visualize the house because right. he was so far in my mm -hmm. face. Now she damn near had a stroke when you left the house. Like, she was like, it was like, I would have thought somebody died. Like I would have too, but with that, we we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Disney Channel acting skills. Okay. We'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, so boom. Okay, so I really want to speak on this because I really fuck with you. And you kept saying that you got people watching you. And that was irritating him because, bitch, you like, bitch, if you got people watching you, why is you drunk? But my question to you is, why was you sleeping with your shoes, your hat, your coat, your mind clear, your... Your go, your go yard, your Tim's. What happens, sis? I was Did like you really nervous. Think? I got. Um, I'm a timid. I'm a timid girl, so like I was nervous. Um, because all my arguments was with my roommate, bitch. I didn't know if he was gonna get out of that bed one day and come into my, you know, come into the room. So, bitch, I just had to be ready, you know. Oh. I didn't think you was gonna sneak me in my sleep, but you could have woke me up on that, you know. Yeah, because I feel like everybody trying to live up to this bad girls thing and not understanding that this is a platform and y'all can showcase who y'all are because y'all haven't been seen yet. So I like the fact that you were speaking on your platform and everything that you were gonna do outside before, even and after. And my next question is, I feel like you wanted to fuck him. But you low key was gagging that he wanted to fight no, you. I did not want to. I had that problem with like me liking niggas and they want to fight turn me. Him on. That turned me on too. That's <laughs> actually bad. So <laughs> did you feel turned on? And you fucking bitch. I didn't want to fuck, I didn't wanna fuck him, but I. Um, you wanted to see what it was about. Before I got there, I was one that was like two niggas. So I'm like, oh, this is the other nigga. You you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, I'm on next season. Okay, but, um, but I definitely want to say like it was like three of y'all that was my favorite. But I really like the. I really wish that you would not have went home. Yeah, for the, for the people home. that was watching you, you should have stayed there. But I feel you was like stayed. at that point it was a chain reaction. Everybody going home. Too much going on. It was too much. It was mm -hmm. too much for me. I could have dealt with it, but like being there. I mean, being away from it, I could say I could have dealt with it, but being there, I couldn't really deal with that. That's mm -hmm. not like it's better said than done. Like I get what you're saying. And um, I'm ready for the reunion. Are any of y'all fighting today? We want to see a fight on here. We want to see. We want to see a groundbreaking. We want to see. The thing is, I'm not planning on like I'm not premeditating anything. You okay. Know what I mean, I'm gonna be in that moment. If anybody, if anybody feel like that they want to address something, address it. If anybody feel like that they want to stand on what they said, stand on whatever you said, and then we'll just take it from there. Ain't no premeditation. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm scared of you a little bit. I'm scared of you because you're giving me too calm. Like, it's giving me too calm. Like, yeah. I mean, the thing, the, the thing is, like, okay, I was I was the last replacement. Um, I shook some shit up a little bit here and there. Um, and, you know, me and Maj, we fought or whatever. Um, but, I mean, we don't have no tension. It's nothing and that we feel like, like. Do you feel like that was pointless? Because I felt like it was a pointless fight. I mean, I, they didn't have to go that way. And that's not what I wanted to do but the thing is like if I'm talking to you and if you stand up and you start taking your shit off I have no choice I'm getting up 100% mm -hmm. and the thing is with me like I'm gonna swing first before you swing on me cause mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the upper I hand you, either way I mean, we on camera so bitch don't whip my ass on camera right. and my last question before I let y'all go and get ready for this reunion uh, my question for you actually um, what is your relationship status? 
for the people that want to know, like, I'm, and I'm, I'm one of the people. I've been, <laughs> I've been single for a while. I've been single for two years. You've been single for two years? Yeah. And why? Because I'm trying to find myself. Was they already fighting? Uh-huh. Is them bitches already That's fighting? Weird. Cause I'm trying to find myself. I'm going through my whole awakening stage. I'm trying to still figure out who I am. Okay. So do you feel like you like DL a little bit? Do you feel like this? I don't is think I'm DL. Out? I don't think I'm DL. You give me trade a little bit. I mean, I'm happy with who I am. Okay. And I'm not afraid to express who I am. I'm not DL. Okay. I'm just I love who that. I am. Yeah, you an Atlanta nigga. I'm an Atlanta nigga. Where you from? Where you from? Bank here. I'm from Bank here. Bank here. Bank here, buddy. Okay. Bank here. I got a question. Are you verse? Are you a verse? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 50 fifty-fifty verse. I adapt to who I'm. So with. you doing for what y'all nigga doing? I do. You will be my top dog. Yeah, I'll, and I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll live for you today. All right, y'all. I'm about to let these niggas go. I'm about to let these niggas go. I'm about to let these niggas go. All right, y'all have a good day. All right, um, Messi. I don't want to talk with that. Give me a hug. I'm a tough hockey man. She is the king. <laughs>
It's like, um, I say my life right now, I don't want to say too much. It's just great right now. Okay. It's great. I heard that. I, trust me, I, could, I feel you. Yeah. Kelton? Uh, life has been great. Um, I've gotten two new Chris jobs. Is still nice. More, yes, it's still always good. <laughs> I've gotten more new jobs. Um, I, you know, enrolled enroll myself in therapy, so I'm better mentally since I left the house. And you know, I've just been doing, doing the best I can do. That's amazing. Jacob, what about you? I mean, I talked a little bit about my hair shit on the show, so I've just been focusing on like pushing that and like trying to brand myself. Yeah, because to... I don't know how to do hair. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you got me together. Yeah, yeah. So, but... Congrats to you. <laughs> thank you, thank Alex? you. Alex? Me, just a uh, normal life. Just working, making money. Okay. That's it. Thank you. So you already told us. Sorry, right, okay. yeah. <laughs> get to the bag. You know what I mean? Always. So I've lived in a few bad girls' houses, as you guys know. And. It's been a lot. How was it for y'all, like, living on camera like that? Kind of took me back to high school with all the messy shit. Really? really? Yeah. And, like, in the house, yeah. in high school. Yeah. High school a little bit. yeah. I mean, personally, for me, I, I rock solo. I'm, I'm a very, like, independent guy. So the difference for me was, like, running in the, with a group of people. And I don't have a lot of gay friends either. So it was different experiences that I wanted to experience. So Right. Yeah. It, it was just an experience as a whole. Um, I feel like people who do reality TV or a web, like web series, they never really think how an experience would go until they're actually in it. And uh, honestly, it was an ex of course y'all see this season like it was an experience in itself. Um, me personally, I didn't really think everything that did went on the house that did go on in the house happened. But I mean, it is what it is, um, and that's really it. It, it, is, it is what, what it, it is. is. No, literally. <laughs> I heard that. So, Jacob, Alex, and Justice, you guys were the originals. You guys made it to the end. Is there anybody from the original cast that you guys would have, you know, wished made it to the end with you guys? I mean, Darian, Darian. basically made it to the end. Darian. I mean, he just left a little bit sooner, but I wish he would have stuck it out just that little bit longer, just so he could say he finished with us, but... We all understood why he had to go home, so it was a no hard feeling. Darian? Yeah. I wish Diego stayed too. Oh, yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you, yeah. I, I wish you did. I love Diego. <laughs> I love all of you guys, so I'm excited to be here. And we're just getting started, so. Um, Kelson, being the first replacement in the house, how, what were your thoughts, like, walking in? Because me being on Bad Girl Sub, I know how it is when a replacement comes in. We kind of are petty, you know, like we kind of, you know, we give them the replacement treatment, but it feels like you didn't really have that. What were your thoughts though, coming into a house that was already, you know what I'm saying, a house, and you were a replacement? Were you scared? No, I wouldn't say scared. I was a, well, I, I was a little bit anxious about it. No, I didn't know how everybody was going to treat me once I walked in. But you know, pretty much when I walked in, everybody welcomed me with open arms up until a certain point. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know, I had a good time that first night. Um, everybody did welcome me with open arms, and it was cool. That's great. It was not because a lot of people, you know, they don't have that experience. So I'm happy you did. Yeah. So y'all, the three replacements are up here with us, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Is there anybody from the original cast that thinks that any one of these three replacements should have been like there from day one? I wish, I wish Keith would have came a little sooner. No, no shade to y'all. I just feel like because the way Keith turned up, I like him. Not saying I don't fuck with Mars because I do like Mars, but talk your shit, talk your but, shit, Tom. If we, because he was only there for so many days, I feel like had he been there longer and we would actually got to turn up, go out, and do shit with him. It, he would have been a vibe. I appreciate that because I was the last replacement. Um, but I came in ready to turn up. You know what yeah. I mean? I wanted to turn it up. I mean, I'm a turn up king, so that's what I did. And people, people seen that. And I have my issues, but I, mean, I came in that dish to have a good ass time uh, yeah. and give the vibes. Mm. That's what I am in my real life. Right. You know what I mean? So. Mm. And as, just a question, as a replacement, did you feel like you had that responsibility? Like, okay, somebody got sent home, I gotta come in and make my mark. You know what? Um, it's not really like oh, I was trying to make my mark. It was just like, look, I wanna let people in on my story. I won't have that much time, so um, I want to 
to let people know who I am and what I do. It wasn't really about let me come in here and make my mark and you know, prove that I'm the baddest. Um, but it was though. You said it multiple times. You said this, like, I need to go out with a bang, right? Okay, well, yeah. You I, did. You I, went out with a bang. I did say that. I did say that because, I mean, when I got into the house, I was the last one. It was very, very lax in the house. Everybody was chill. Everybody was real comfortable. Everybody was, like, pretty much coupled up up for the most part. I mean, come on, everybody ass. Ain't nobody a little bit. Shit, a little bit, right? I did. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, let's turn, <laughs> let's turn it up. I'm not saying let's all fight each other, but bitch, <laughs> let's turn up. And the thing is... But what do you have to say? What are... What... He know what he did. It's cool. Go ahead. Go no, talk I mean, your shit. Even, even no, we're at the reunion. You have to. Okay. Whereas, like, he just kept saying the whole thing of he wanted to make his moment. Like, he he need to do something that was memorable that everybody loved. Whereas, like, nobody liked you. When did I say that I, 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 I had to make a memorable, a memorable you, moment? I didn't say that. I, I ain't going to ask that. them because I don't know. But I mean, uh, wasn't that? he was fishing for his 15 minutes, right? Everybody was. Fishing for your 15 minutes. So you feel like I, I low key, low key. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I went in my 15 too, but I'm I'm low key. Like I'm a chill guy, so right. it's like I ain't a person or what's the name. So as soon as you came at me, that's why, yeah. Right. But well, you well, wanted your 15 minutes at a higher note than me, so I had to humble you. Okay, calmly. Well, it probably seemed like I did, but I wasn't looking for nothing. I I came in there as me. And the thing is, Maj, Maj, with you, I didn't even want to fight you. You stood up, so you wanted to fight. Real, real oh. shit. Don't approach me at all. You don't know me, bro. Oh, shit, I'm gonna stand up every time. Right, so then yeah. I gotta stand up too. So that's just don't I'm, approach I'm me. I don't. You, I don't, you know me. I don't need to sit here and fight every day. I just don't. I just don't. And just, I mean, I don't. I don't know you like that. So you know what I mean? So yeah. It is. You know what, y'all? While we're on this subject, there are two replacements that absolutely went head to head at the end of the season that had the whole house shook. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Call me Keys, though. Call me Keys. What's your name? Justice. Justice? Nice to meet you, Justice. My name is Marge. Marge? Yeah, nice to meet you. Y'all call me Keys, though. When I wake up, I hear, oh, I'm the new boy. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey. And it's like, wait, huh? We take some shots. He was cool, down to earth. I like his vibe. I feel like people are, like, getting hella comfortable. What do you think is like too comfortable right now as far as bitch the couples are treat people? <laughs> I do just want to know what's up. I genuinely want to know how you are going to be acting in this house that now that you don't have your man with you. That's all. You feel like you're gonna turn up still? Are you not even feeling like that you're not gonna turn up? You want me to turn up? Are you trying to? You, you, no, are you trying to turn up? Question, because like don't keep mentioning people. It's not here. It's not here. Okay, well I, I'm asking you. Okay. Like, but on. now you're standing up. What are you standing up for? I just asked you a question. I'm just looking at him like, what? And I'm short tempered. Like don't say nothing to me. Nothing at all. Um, Did you forget? Know. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Show me. I'm bitch. Show you. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Bitch. What's up? <laughs> Watch out, bitch. <man. laughs> I told you I can't touch me. So like I said, I just okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say anything, I just want to apologize to Kelton. I'm sorry for pushing you like that. I'm no, sorry. God, I made it too close. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Yes. You mentioned that Maj was under Darian the whole time and he wasn't really doing I wasn't under Darian. I was on top of a nigga. Stop Wait, saying I was under. That, I was on that, top of a nigga. Don't ever say I was under a nigga. I was on top of a nigga. I mean, I literally like, that was that was my thing. I'm telling you, if you like me, I that's why you, oh, all right, all right, all right, oh, all right. Oh, all right. Bitch, that's that's not what it is because what like I said like I felt like I knew you like Celise and I felt like you were really comfortable like being with Darian and I felt like I even got to know him and so that was my thing with you but you that triggered you so bitch, it, it is what it is like you seem triggered when I asked you that and if you felt like that you wanted to fight after that that's cool too because I mean it can happen. And, and that's, this, that's what happened. Maj, how did you feel when he was calling you out and how he, he didn't call me out. He said, hey, Maj, and I stood up. Like, yeah, right. what up? I didn't call you what out. What up? Yeah, like, so don't. Was for a moment. Yeah, you was so fishing what? for a moment. I that, gave that joint to you. You came in. Happened. You came in when you came in. You know when you came in. So right. it was like a short amount of time. So you wanted to get that moment. But I don't know if you 
You was better off with them. Yeah, you should have tried one of them. Somebody smaller than you. Is, I'm not, or him. I'm not finna, you tried me. You tried me. Bro, you, 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 you fucked like up. I was trying to try you. Yeah, like, you tried. Like, like, where it was like the night bigger. before, the night before, y'all said the little shit to Kelton, where it was like, okay, I let y'all get y'all issue. I ain't want cock block. I let, I let y'all push y'all issue. Cool, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Then the next day, it was like the couple's retreat. What the fuck? Where it's like, bro, what? Yeah, okay, that's well, how I felt. Justin, I felt. Jacob, and Alex, y'all were there. So, how do y'all feel about what he you said? He the issue with me? I mean, me, me and you had that conversation. We did. We did. And um, just based off that conversation, I mean, that's literally how you felt um, at that moment. I feel like it's kind of different because I was already in the house when Maj came in and, you know, I've been with Darian like the whole time. So I didn't really have much to say. Um, I was like, you know, Keisha's just going to speak his opinion. And even I told both of y'all, like, after that fight, I just didn't think he was going to give that. Like, I really did not think he was going to give that at all. <laughs> So that's how I feel about that. Well, this is the first time y'all are seeing each other since the show, Maj and Peace, right? So, I mean, y'all kind of already said it, but where do y'all stand now? Like, Judy, you seen that, right? Yes. You seen that uppercut at the last minute? He caught four of them joints. I ain't worried about nobody. Right, I'm, I am I'm not, cool. I'm not worried either. Oh, I, he caught four of them mind. joints. He I know mean, how them like, joints come in. Like, he know them joints ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> Maj, you did what well, you did. You feel, you feel like you did your big one. Okay, like, I didn't. You know, like, I did, um, I did, uh, uh, I did. I fight. I fight like no grabbing. I, I just grab. I, I grab there, but I fight. You stood up so but that wasn't up. really a real fight. Okay, that I mean, like yeah. Grab. I mean, to be honest, I mean, like it is what it is. Like you got your hit in. Everybody was holding me down, but I was still swinging, so it doesn't matter. After that, you had your moment. I sat down right there. I was over here on the little. Uh, the little gate joint where it's like you could have got you could have got your one. You okay, well, you is, you knew you, know, I, you I, knew from the rip them joints come hard. You knew from the rip them joints come hard, and I don't play no games with nobody. Actually, actually, bro, you was lumped the fuck up. Well, tell I the can't truth. Fight, so I'm I mean, happy you not lumped. Tell the, the truth. Uh, okay. you, he was lumped the fuck no, up, bitch. Okay. Oh, alright. So lying. yeah, you, you was lumped the fuck up. You know them joints come hard. You know I didn't get the upper hand. I didn't get the upper hand. I said I said I wasn't trying to. I pushed everybody the fuck down. I made the upper hand. Don't say I got the upper hand. I made the upper hand. What the fuck is wrong? with you. Okay, so look. Y'all are both cute. Thanks. But you know who else is cute? What? Our next bad boy. who <laughs> almost made it to the end. His scandalous hookups. I love to watch them and I know y'all do too. So let's welcome the bad boy we love to hate, Darian. <laughs> Yo, yo, Karan, the camera's recording. This go for everybody. Fight Kelton with your voice. Okay. Fight Kelton with your voice. Okay. Fight Kelton with your voice or fight me. Fight Kelton with your voice or fight me. If you think that you want to fight him, you're gonna fight me. And I, that's like, yeah, from the rip. Yeah, like, I'm not playing no games I'm with nobody. Scared, I'm You're not. Like, fight Kelton with I mean, your he got, a he got a lot of mouth today, though. He's he been yapping it since we sat down. Nah, watch this. I don't see why he... I'm wrong for everything I do. <laughs> Y'all are wild. <laughs> Save it for camera. All right, I'm ready for that Hello. Hello. Was it hard living in the bad boy's house? It wasn't hard. It was just more so like, I don't know. I miss my dogs in my life. I love dogs. <laughs> I miss my dogs in my life. That's yeah. all. If you could change anything from the season at all, what would it be? <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't do it. I did what I did. Period. <laughs> I did what I did, period, and sweet. That's that. I was my son. Keith, now that Darian is here, do you have anything to say to him or ask him about the love bubble that was going on in the house? Um, well, I mean, me and Darian um, have had our conversations. I didn't know um, how 
um, our friendship or, or anything was going to be after me and him got into it because you guys were, were a thing. And, and we had an issue after you left. And like I told you, I got to know you a little bit, but I felt like I didn't get to know him. And, you know, what happened is what happened. So it is what it is. I'm just not turning shit down. So I don't know how you feel um, for me, you know, fighting your man or getting into it with him, you know? Yeah. I mean, I do feel like it was a little unnecessary, but... That, like that was I, my next question, Derek. Like Off camera, you did the, say you felt it was weird that he yeah, wanted to fight Yeah, because I thought like we were all, all, like, cool. Like, you always roll with us. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I bought you shots, he bought you shots, and whatever. Like, we were all dancing together and shit like that. So I feel like it was a little unnecessary, but... Yeah, and that's another thing. Bitch, you rolled in the, 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 the bombed out cherry every fucking night to the club. I Bitch, did. you rolled with me that's the in thing. that bombed out cherry. That's the thing. So did I say something that was that offensive to you? Like, because it triggered you a lot. So that's what I'm saying. Was I really trying to fight him? Did yeah. I really I say, there. bitch? I don't know. Right, right. Yeah. I wasn't there, so I was like, you felt like I was trying to fight you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Kelton, what'd you say? I said they're offended by everything. Oh, okay. Right. Right. Um, you felt like I was trying to fight you? Yeah. yeah. Everything to my sense. What's your issue, Kelton? Because you've been going off since you sat on this couch. Like, what? Because you didn't have this energy in the house. That's what's very baffling to me. You are never this buff chest. And it's, going, it's not going to be four people against him. I'm you're going to talk. Oh, right. You're going to talk, and then you're going to shut the fuck myself. up, and you're going to let the next no. person talk. Oh, right. No. Well, whatever you're trying to do, I'm with it. Fuck it. You're going to talk to him regular, and then that's just that's it. Go ahead. So state your issue now. Like, what the fuck? Fuck them. Like, what? I can't say like that took offense to you. Like, what? I'm not with none of that. No, so fuck it. He's no, it, no, I just I don't have like, a problem with nobody. I don't have me and see, like I just said, me and Mars are cool. So why? I guess he feels like Kelton can't defend himself, but Kelton has no problem running his mouth right now. So what is the if he has a if he can talk he can swing yeah he's gonna talk and, so, and if you swing I'm a swing so you're gonna okay. argue you're gonna run your bet suit and he's gonna run his bet suit or I'm gonna swing with you fuck it it is what it is like no, let me know let it. me know I don't get it. do you want like, talk about this before y'all came in like you're gonna like I told from the first June when they said that he acted crazy when that I wasn't there so I let that issue be when you wanted to jump in it and all that you ain't have shit to do with it I just let it be and all that whereas like I watched it back now now I can actually put my input on it. Where it's like, shut the fuck up to everybody. Where it's like, say what you got to say. Okay. And if you, whatever, yeah, I told you. Well, it let me be clear. Is. Let me be clear I on my situation. I didn't speak about nothing before. Whatever happened before I got in that bitch in the house is what happened with y'all. You wanted a moment so bad. You was you was the fucking first night. You was the first night like, yeah, we're about to put him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it was like, you don't even know anything. Okay. But he's quiet too why y'all ain't try to put him the fuck out they did it he fought justice for that very yeah but i'm reason. talking about keith too like keith jumped straight on to his bandwagon where he's quiet too it's two quiet people okay why not why not target both of them okay, why target so one because he punched on him because he punched on him so now it's I like we're gonna, so we gonna target him. Cool and you punched on him is it Maj, do you, you feel like Kelton was being bullied? It wasn't bullied, they just I wasn't, saying, I wasn't there for the, I wasn't there for the first beginning. But so I don't, don't, nobody bullies yeah. everything. But the, like, I, felt like, I felt like Kelton like was uncomfortable. I felt like Kelton was, was No, no, it wasn't being about being uncomfortable. The thing was that was this. Kelton. Right. It was weird. Like you were being like bitch. You were trying it to was a joke. Me. Listen. But if it was a joke, you should have said that. <laughs> like, <laughs> just let him talk. Okay. Was a fucking joke. Okay. I'm saying. Okay. Bitch, bitch, I, have, I, have, I have nothing to fucking say to you. Like, I really don't. I, okay, that's fucking fine. That is fucking perfectly fine. Bitch, stop talking to me. Because if it gave some. Hey, bitch, yeah. bitch, bitch, okay, so what's up? What? 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 Bitch? What? Bitch? 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 I'm trying to fucking cut. Yo, what's up? What's up? Bitch? What? 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 What